individually to each like position group as well. That's where I started. So it's like, okay, you're a DB. Most DBs eat this way. Then let's figure it out for you and like changing things and adapting things as it doesn't work or as it works. You know, I have some guys that we use, you know, a UCAN product for, and it works really well for them. But the other players, they're like, they hate it. It doesn't work for them, so we change it. Um, it's honestly just really good documentation skills on my end. <laughs> each day I have a notebook, and it's, I mean, it's massive right now, just like the changes we make each day for the plans. And then those are going to their game day plans. That's why we practice, right? So that way it's not anything new on game day. We do it every single day here. It's been very purposeful in my career that I wanted to see every aspect of training because I wanted to relate to the players as much as possible. So I started off at OU and I fell in love with college football. Like I knew that's what I wanted to do, but you know, hearing them talk about the league and talking about, you know, the combine, I was like, okay, I need to see all this so I can relate to them and then show them like, hey, what you do in college relates and you can use in your career in the future. So like, you know, from there I went to training camp with the Eagles, which I'd already been in a training camp with OU, completely different operations. So seeing that was you know, while preparing them, it's like, hey, training camp here was like this, but like, the Eagles is like this, so get prepared for this. Like, you guys need to keep this in your mind, you know? Same with season at the Jets. Holy crap, different season, right, than what we have here. It's way more pressure on them. There's way longer days because it's actually a career for them. So showing them that, you know, showing them how, like, hey, school is actually helping prepare you guys for the NFL because you are having to study, you are having to be active and participate all the time. Um, combine, um, everybody talks about combine. Combine is a completely different training than football. I mean, you don't ever try to bench as much. You know, you never try to do um, the fastest speed. So it's like training for that and training to get as lean as possible for that. It was a really good experience, and that's where I met Novak, and that's how I came to be here. I love Novak's approach. Um, he's, you know, very understanding with the players, very willing to change his approach also with the players, which I obviously like to do as well. I believe they're individuals and not a team. So trying to treat them as individuals to help the team is how I approach it. And that's how Novak does as well, as he modifies everything for them. I think being at like, you know, two, two college schools between OU and UNC and being able to use both of those different approaches, especially with different mentors, I've seen six dietitians' ways of doing things. So it's been able to influence like my way of doing things. So I think I have a pretty good blend and a pretty good approach now with the guys because of that. Because I've seen, you know, hey, this worked with this player at OU, but it didn't work here at UNC. So being able to change because of experiences. That's... I. To me, that's what creates buy-in, is by listening to them and actually understanding where they're coming from and then changing because of that. I think that's what creates the buy-in and creates, like, you know, this passion that you guys see, like, in these interviews and things like that, talking about it. It's like, so we actually listen to them, we take what they're saying, and use it to create a better plan. I actually had just talked to um, Sam's Club. It was right before camp started, and I was like, hey, I'm going to have to do this every week. Like, I don't know if I can shop this anymore. And they're like, hey, we have online ordering. Like, we're willing. <laughs> so now I have, like, a time picked out with them that I shop online and then they just bring it out to me and we load up a van here now so it's like it's gotten a lot better <laughs> it was a good yeah that was a couple times was that was a six hour trip and it's like I can't do this during camp yeah six hours at the store oh my gosh yeah and then bringing along like my fiance got drug along I've had free I brought his mom along it's like just trying to get people to move things through a store with me right. you can ask everybody I kind of had like a little like breakdown on the sidelines it was like oh my gosh like it was all worth it you know being able to like them being like, hey, it worked, it, you know, our plan actually worked, and it's like, yes, like, hell yes, it did, like, this is why we've been training like this, and showing them, you know, like, me saying, hey, practice, 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 like, we're always practicing for it, now it paid off, and so now they're like, oh my god, this actually works, this actually pays off, and then they can use it in the future, you know, they're going to the NFL, it's like, well, now you can take this plan, you played in Miami, right, you played in Miami at noon, not a lot of people can say that, and you made it, take that with you, and so I think that's been huge for them as well. I, I, Originally started off as a marine biologist. I did marine biology for three years. So I've been very big into the science realm and like using research and actually applying it. So I think that was like, I did competitive body lifting. So that's how I got into nutrition and using the science there and applying it to like my own training, obviously, and then being able to use that here. Like that's huge. I mean, and showing the guys like, hey, yeah, this article is really boring. I'm sorry, I had to read it, but here's what you need to take away from it. And that's what I've done too. It's been like, okay, here's the link to the article. So you have guys who want to read this stuff. You know, Spencer Rowland loves reading stuff, like articles like that. So I'll send them some every now and again, just for him to like take a peek at. Um, but the other guys, like I'll just break it down for them. Be like, okay, here, you know, here's why I want you to eat casing. I keep saying casing, casing, casing. It's like, well, here's why. And like showing the graph and like actually putting it in words that they understand that they want to learn. I think it's been huge too. So, that, so that's Bill and Bill yeah. is absolutely incredible. I've never been able to work with a sports science guy like him. It's been absolutely phenomenal. You know, he'll call me and be like, Hey, you know, I saw this. What are you, what's your take on it? And, you know, and same with training. Like we all get together with strength as well. And we all sit down and we talk about this kind of stuff. And I think that's why you're seeing like these improvements and you're seeing like, you know, what coach Tuck has been saying. It's like, cause we're all working together. We've been very, 
um, collaborative in that sense. Lana is strictly dedication. Like that kid took what I said and ran with it. Like, here's the thing, I can talk and talk and talk and talk, but it's, at the end of the day, it's what they want to do and how they take it. And the fact that they have this much buy-in has been incredible. So Deshaun, you know, he took what I said and he ran with it. And obviously his pictures have shown what he's been able to do, which is awesome. Uh, so I am relentless is the perfect <laughs> word. Uh, my handle on Instagram has been relentless Ryan Stein since I was like 16. Like I, I've always been relentless and I've never taken the, the no, that's, I'm not going to do this. It's like, okay, so we just need to find a different approach. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like, okay, that approach didn't work with Q, as you said. So what's my different approach? Cause ever, at the end of the day, like I'm never going to give up on the guy. And so it's how do I make it work for him and how do I make him see where I'm safe? So what was the food of contention? Um, honestly, not really any like specific food. It was honestly just, I think just different for him. You know, like he just had to adapt. And I think that's what happened. Like showing like, hey, like I'm not gonna give up on you, adapt all you need, but you're gonna eventually do what I'm saying because I'm right. <laughs> 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 so at the end of the day being like, hey, like we'll figure out a way that works for you. And I, and I think being understanding too, like he really enjoys cooking. Like he really likes to cook. So it's like, okay, go cook. Just let me know that you're doing that. So I know you're eating so that I'm not worried. Hey, did you eat dinner tonight? Yeah. Like, he didn't check in with me, so. I like having that different approach with him has been the best. I mean, I feel like we've always been preparing for every game. Like, we treat every game the same. The only thing that was different about Miami was the heat. We just had to take that into account, so we were training for that. So, I mean, every game to me is a chance to be better and a chance for, to make these guys' hydration plans and fueling plans better and more concrete for them. Because you learn something from every game. You learn, you know, hey, did you fall out this game? Did you feel tired this game? Or, you know, the next day, how are you recovering? How are you doing? Do we need to change this? You know, because we are now in the fourth game, so our recovery is going to be a little bit different than our first game, right? You bounce back a lot quicker in your first game. Well, your fourth game is now, it's like, okay, now now we're in it where you have to be relentless in your, your recovery. You have to be doing this every single day. It's not because you want to, now it's because you have to. So we want you to recover, we want you to be fresh. So I think that's kind of like the next big thing is like getting these guys to like buy into that. Like how do we recover better? Honestly, has been a, a, a real up and coming thing. Like the first time I got to work with a sports scientist, like a true sports scientist was at the Eagles. And he was incredible. Like he, but he just did mostly like catapult stuff where Bill like takes it and he breaks it down. You know, he's like, he'll call you and be like, hey, you know, so-and-so speed was this way, this way, how can we help him tomorrow? Like, how can we do that? I've never had that kind of experience. Um, IMG also had a very good sports scientist that kind of got me into like, hey, you know, maybe their speed is affected by what they ate yesterday. So I've never, I never put those two together until then. So it's been pretty nice to have Bill, who's very, very, very involved with his science and really takes a, a pride in what he does.